Hi guys. Good evening. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, good evening. How was your day? Anything interesting? Busy day. Yes, a little bit. Sorry for yesterday. <laughs> My husband and I, we made um, uh, some custom for uh, our little daughter because today uh, was her last day at school. Oh, so you celebrated? Yeah. Okay, well, but you told me you were going to be absent, right? You sent me a message? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the thing is, I have two Fatimas in the online classes, so I was not sure who it was, but then it was you. Oh. Okay, great. Yeah, if you send me, yeah, 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 it was you. Okay, very good. Um, so nothing interesting today? No? No. <laughs> Just work? <laughs> That's it? Work, work, look. All yeah. right. At least we have a job, right? That's, that's good, nice. especially in this crazy time. So that's a good thing to be thankful for. Um, so last night we didn't watch this video, did we? No. No, I remember we were about to Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An Pause this video. All right, pay close attention, please, and take notes. We already studied this basically, so it's not going to be difficult to understand, but let's pay attention anyway. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. It stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial Clauses of Time When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When? is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is a subject, comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, altogether is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. So let's do it together. Before, subordinating conjunction or adverb. She, the subject. Went, the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause and she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent, well done. Before we go, 
it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, they have traveled around the world, or they have traveled around the world since they got married. The only difference is the use of a comma if the subordinating conjunction begins the sentence. Can you give us now two examples? Do so in our discussion box. Okay, so we're only talking about time After, here. before. Can you take notes of these, please? We're about to practice them, so I would need some of them. Let's see, write them down, please, or take a picture, because we're about to use them. If you notice, guys, everything is related with time, right? When is about time, until is still time, whenever, while, everything is time. So we're not talking about place right now, nothing but time. Okay. Um, so you got them? I'm gonna take a picture and send them to you just in case, but I would like you to write them, okay? I would prefer if you do that. There, I have the picture. And I'm sending it. Uh, we're going to write sentences starting with this, or you can put it on the second part of the sentence, right? Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. So you're gonna put it at the beginning with a comma. And if you change the position of it without a comma, okay? Let's work on some examples, so. <clears throat> Tell me the clauses, guys. We have when, what else? When, what are the options? After, before, After. until, since, since, while, before, since, hold on, while, and I want to tell whenever. Whenever. All right, so when, after, before, or, since, since, until, until, while, and whenever. Whenever and? While. While, all right. Very good, thanks. So let's try to write some sentences with this. We're gonna be talking not about weddings anymore, but. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on, I don't see Eduardo, Alexandra, and Alexandra has a classmate, uh, um, a colleague at work. I'm gonna text them. All right, we're gonna be talking about graduations. By the way, that's graduations, all right? Graduations. Yep, graduations. Uh, we're gonna talk about birthdays. Also turning 18, okay. Also, we're gonna talk about driving. You can say voting. Also, did I say birthdays? Yes. And also, yes. Mother's Day. All right, let's talk about costumes in El Salvador related with this. We're gonna say, for example, when or, mm -hmm. yeah, let's talk about graduations right now, okay? So help me out when what's the subject in general? I, no, when people or students or seniors. Sorry? Seniors? Uh senior students? Mm-hmm. But what students are we talking about, first of all? High school or university students? High school. Okay, so let's talk about that. So when high school students graduate, comma, what happens? What is our tradition or custom? They have a party. They have a party. Very good. 
Okay. What if we try to use before? Before, I know, before students can graduate from high school. What do you have to do before you graduate high school, guys? There's something we have to do. Go to the college? No, before, not after, before. Everybody is doing it at the same time across the, the country exams the pies guys pies pies you have forgotten All right before students oh. can graduate from high school they they approve uh, they have to have approved have to approve have to pass the exam. The pies. We we're gonna say this because it's a see it's a Spanish abbreviation of something, right? And one more. We're still talking about graduation. So after after people graduate from high school, what what is the next step? They go to the college. Uh, they go to college or university. It depends. So, these are some examples. Do you have any questions about this? No. No? no. All right. These are the topics. So, I would like you to think of some examples using this. All right. Uh, choose your favorite topic. So I chose graduations, but you can talk about turning 18, things that people do in El Salvador before they're 18, after they're 18, when they're 18, something they don't do until they're 18, or something your friends didn't do, okay? And you can also talk about Mother's Day, so how it's celebrated. Is that clear? You can okay. write that, but if you only discuss it, it's all right. It's fine with me, okay? Let's work it out. Take a picture of this. Let's send it to a group, please. Let's practice right now, okay? Here we go. Access the invitation and choose a topic. Go ahead. I'll send you a picture. So, the first um, one, the second one. When, the after, second. before. Uh, the second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Using when, before, and after. Mm -hmm. uh, choose, you choose the, the celebration, whatever. Whenever. I don't remember the meaning of whenever. No, whatever. Ah, cualquiera. whatever. Cualquiera. Ah, cualquiera, okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever, okay. Maybe uh, the people can't drive until they have a license. License. Yep, perfect. 
yes. no comma, right? I, That's uh, the difference. Please, please have, how do you spell? Please. C E. Yes. Ah. E. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, the S E. S E, pardon. Ah, that's better. <laughs> you almost got it. Do you have another example? Hello? I say Fatim. Uh, of the people driving uh, the whole day. The whole day? They, Roberto. They, are, they are tired. Uh -huh. No, you can say after driving the whole day, people are tired. After? The... After driving the whole day. People, people are tired. Okay. People are tired. Mm -hmm. All the day. No, you already said it. After driving all day or the whole day. People. It's the same. All day or the whole day. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. People are people. tired. People. Okay. Are tired. Yes. Since you learn to drive, since you learn to drive, you have a big responsibility. A big responsibility. Responsibility. Mm -hmm. Like a Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about, Carl? <laughs> Spider-Man say that uh, a big responsible on... Uh, I don't Give know. you a, a big power or something uh -huh. like that. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> now I have a big responsibility. <laughs> yes. Okay, people can drive while you are driving. Let's talk about another topic. Uh, 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 turning 18. Turning 18. Hmm. After um, people turning 18. Uh, when another, example, drive, another, uh, another example always with driving yes or All you right. can change topics oh okay yeah you can change another topic driving turning 18 a uh, mother's day birthday birthdays right okay things uh, during 18 uh, citizens uh, can vote. Yeah, that's an awesome example. Great, great, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many topics have we discussed here? The birthday. Birthdays. All right, let's do one more and with that we'll finish, okay? One more. Okay. Um, I listen. Driving? Driving? Driving, okay. Mm -hmm. Since she driving a car, she is in independent. She has independence. Uh, she has been independent. Uh -huh. She has been independent. Great. Okay. Before uh -huh. she 
sorry, Carla, for example, before you can get a driver's license, what do you have to do? Mm -hmm. Take uh, classes and practice. Uh, that's before the test. And then before you get the license, you need to pass the test and so on, right? So you can use one example with before and one with after. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the after she passed. The test, or before drive. Driving is is like a the present, eh. or, or no, driving no. is like a, after the past the test. Mm, no, or it doesn't is, matter. It's, driving uh, is in general, so. Uh -huh. Before you can drive, you can say, driving is a topic. Okay, so after, after she, she have, she has a crash <laughs> with your car, maybe. Uh -huh. Let's say a car accident. A car accident. She going well. She's she, not going to hospital. She's not? No. <laughs> In my history, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Know. So after she had a car accident, she didn't go to the hospital. Is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Didn't go to the hospital. Okay. 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 You. I am here. Here. <laughs> the same yeah, no. or another one? Another one. Two. Mm, okay. Okay, not everyone's back. I don't know why. Let me see. Here you are. Very good. All right, let's do this exercise together. Okay. Um, mm -mm. Yep, here we are. So, number one, Noe. I always take a bath after I go to the bed. 
So you go to sleep first and then you take a bath? Oh, no, no. Uh, I always take a bath, a bath before I go to the bed. Before I go to bed. It says go to bed, right? Go yes. to bed. Very good. That's the one. Go to bed. Go to bed. Very good. Carla Molina, too. Uh, will you wait here uh, until I'm ready? Until I'm ready. I'm ready. Yep, that was good. Very good. Uh, Jacqueline. I was not at home whenever he came to see me. When he come when he came to see me. Good. Roberto. Don't disturb me. Don't disturb me uh, when I'm busy with my work. Good. Carla. Carla Chang. Hi. Um, uh, okay. Number five. Mm -hmm. As long as she finished. Number two. No, it wouldn't be as long as. Mm -mm. As for. As, for, uh, as soon. Uh -huh, as soon as. So look, it's as soon as she finishes, or as soon as she finished, mm -hmm. she started working on the next project. Okay. 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 All right, next, Fatima. After I have a finished my work, I will accompany you to the park. I will accompany you. Very good. Yep. Let's see. Paul. <laughs> this is so romantic. Go ahead, Paul. Right. Right. Ever I think of her? My eye get misty. Ever? No, that wouldn't be the one. Whatever. Wh whenever. Whatever is lo que sea, so maybe not. You said whenever, right, Paul? Whenever. Yeah, because we're talking about time. So whenever I think of what? her. What means Whenever I mean? think of her, my eyes get misty. What's the meaning of what? Carla? Okay, misty. Uh, misty. Like, like mysterious. You know, I don't know, like the person is in love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it's funny. All right, eight. Uh, no, eight. Okay. I will start when I am ready. <laughs> so easy. That sounds that sounds like a response, right? No, eh? I will start when I'm ready, not right now. Don't bother me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, when I'm ready. <laughs> Very good. Nine. And let's see, Paul. I will not go mm. until I get my money back. Good. I'm not living until I get my money back. I'm going to stay here all day if I have to. Good. So that is the one. Let's see Misty Eye, guys. Misty Eyes. I'm curious of how they look. When you think of someone. Uh, <laughs> that's weird. Like this. <laughs> It's so like crying that, before, uh -huh, before the yeah. crying. <laughs> no, I think the person is like they. Drink. It seems like like WhatsApp emoji. Ah, uh, yeah, I like know, right? Cook. The new one. <laughs> <laughs> the new one, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you're like right. It. Send that emoji, so that would be misty eyes. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> now I'm gonna send you some questions through WhatsApp so that we can practice while you are speaking, but so that you can practice more. Uh, check those questions. We're using adverbial 
clauses of time. So think of these questions, it says. There, I sent them. So read the first question, please. Roberto. Roberto, are you tired, Roberto? <laughs> Is it like, no? Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> I work all the day. You worked all day long? Okay. <laughs> uh, so, first question, what does it say, Roberto? Check the image. But what were what were you doing yesterday when the clock struck 2 p.m uh -huh. so you're gonna say when the clock stroke 2 p.m i was i was teaching a class actually what about you guys but you have uh, to start with that right when the clock stroke 2 p.m i was taking my lunch um no the most common verb is having lunch or eating taking is when you take it to go okay. you take it with your hands or something right so eating or having lunch all right so make sure you're using the structure we learned and we're gonna practice in i'm gonna make two groups so that you can practice more okay and i'll be listening to you so yeah two rooms let's practice those questions Access the invitation, please. And I'll be with you in a second. Okay. What were you doing yesterday when the clock struck 2 p.m.? Mm -hmm. After the stroke. After the clock struck 2 p.m., I, w I woke up for a little nap and later I take my computer for work. Right. You did, you did what with the computer? And, and work. I take my computer and work. I took my computer and work. Uh -huh. took, took my computer and work. Right. While we... <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. You have to see it because it's really, really, really good. Okay, I, I will see maybe <laughs> after the, the class. Okay. Okay, what were you doing yesterday when the clock struck to pay? When the clock struck 2 p.m., I was working a lot. <laughs> okay. Where do you guys work? I work at Promerica Bank. What do you do? What is your I'm, uh, I'm, just, I'm just studying industrial engineering, but I work at the bank. I'm still I studying. St still studying. Um, I do, I respond to the government, uh, the, the requ requirements, government requirements. And did you say you live in a Yutuxtepec or somewhere there? No? Me? I remember. Uh -huh. No, I, I live in San, San Salvador. But what part? 
uh, San Salvador. It's it's the, ah, the downtown. Downtown, uh huh. Uh, near the um, near the Cuscatlan Park or Stadium Cuscatlan Stadium. Yes, right. Uh huh. The Cuscatlan. I live like five minutes from Cuscatlan on Stadium. On foot or on in car? Uh, on bus, five minutes. On car, it's like two minutes or or less. Uh huh. You Depends look the traffic. and I know some people that live there. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you the name, but hold on. Where I live you, at I live at Colonia Ibu. I don't know the name, but I'm gonna tell you in a second. Paul and Fatima, where do you guys work, and what are you doing? I'm just curious right now. I work at the Bianca, but now I'm on an unpaid leave. <laughs> ah. So. I'm oh, resting <laughs> at home. The first month they paid you, right? Yes. Not yes. anymore. No, no. Oh, not it's going to take a while for you to get back to work, Fatima. Excuse me? It's going to take a long while for you to get back to work. Yeah. Maybe next month. I, I hope. Okay. Yeah, hopefully. So we'll see. we're waiting. <laughs> and you post, so hold on, sorry, Carla. So do you know she's the girl? I don't know. I, she lives really near the stadium, the Cuscatlan one. Can you see her? Ana Alonso. Do you know her, Carla? No, oh, Carla is frozen. <laughs> right. <when> <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she was. She's yeah. having trouble with the connection. <laughs> oh, it's like her. All right, anyway, Paul, where do you work? I work for the Vivienda. The Vivienda? Yes. The majority of students work at the bank. I don't know why, uh, the, the online students. All right, I'll let you practice. So what's the next question? Thank you. Save a good amount of money. So I go to travel. Mm -hmm. I go traveling. I go traveling. Yep. Okay. What question is that? Ah, save a good amount of money. No, but this is with will, Roberto. So when I save a good amount of money, I will go traveling excuse me i will go traveling ah okay okay mm -hmm. all right next question when people generally feel happy I generally feel happy when I go to the bed early. <laughs> that is so basic, but so real. <laughs> what about you, Carla? When are you happy? Can you hear Carla? No. No, eh? Okay. Um, I am happy. I am happy when uh, I am happy after um, the company paid my salary. <laughs> yeah, paid day is a happy day. Another add to another add to adult happiness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> eh, Roberto. I I generally feel happy when I stay at home. So this is like paradise for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the other way around for me. In this quarantine context, I'm happy when I go out. Yes. At least to do the grocery shopping, right? But when I'm back, I'm happy. I don't know. 
you get that thing. By, buying a, a unnecessarily things <laughs> doesn't okay. matter like go to do like like to go to dollar city and and spend yeah. your money yeah, I was thinking that. like a millionaire <laughs> <laughs> like a millionaire here's my money dollar city take it <laughs> take it all <laughs> take it all <laughs> no i was yeah. thinking about that all right the next question is uh, what cartoons did you watch when you were a child let's say when i was a child when i was a child i, I watched spongebob i did watch no, i watched uh, scooby-doo oh yeah Scooby the jetson super mash <laughs> i used to say what did you used to watch carla sir the jetson ah yeah that's a good one it was a really good one <laughs> did you watch it Roberto? the jetson the jetson yes. in spanish yes jetson no it's a uh, oh, that's right yeah that was a good one now we have everything we have video conference right everything that they used to predict <laughs> we are the supersonics now <laughs> that's true no eh? It's the really life. When I was a child, I Warner uh, Bros. cartoon. I'm a fanatic of cartoons. I, I still watch them. I I love Dragon Ball. <laughs> I love Pokemon. I love uh, uh, Thundercats, Silverhawk. Uh, all all nine all nineteen nineties all nineties cartoon nineties cartoon mm -hmm. and. Pokemon just two seasons. Uh, <laughs> I I still watch everything. Full metal. <laughs> all of it. I'm just I I prefer to see cartoons. With Paul, we, uh, with, with Paul we were talking about Rugrats. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you remember? <laughs> What's the name of the character, the main one? Aventuras en pañales? No, but the main character. <laughs> Tommy? No, Tommy. Tommy. The... Tommy is turning 30 years old today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw I saw the picture. Yeah, right. Yeah, like... I told that <laughs> to Paul. Wow. Tommy is turning 30 today. <laughs> you still watch cartoons, Fatima? Yeah. What cartoons do you watch? Uh, all Disney movies. Our favorite is Frozen. We were talking about uh -huh. the Frozen. The second one is the best. The Frozen. Frozen, yes. Oh, I don't know what that is. Really? Oh no, you, you're oh, an adult. No. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. How do you spell that? Frozen. Frozen, 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 frozen. Yeah. I'm, I'm Ralph. Ralph the, 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 the demolish. I don't. The demoledor. El Ralph. No, I don't. That's know. a good one too. So Carla, her name is Ana Alonso. You didn't see her. Do you know her? Uh, I, I, I don't. Uh, I don't talk to anybody at my neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know who is. <laughs> I, I'm a, how do you say? I never out of home. Oh, really? An hermit. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's a short word. I can't remember it right now. It's like, but you look alike. So I think we're family. We're like relatives or something. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> we have one exercise to do. Alrighty, that was funny. Um, so uh, let's do one more exercise before we finish, right? I think this is the last topic about weddings, guys. So forgive me. <laughs> I hope you still have to do it. Okay. I feel like like I want to marry now. <laughs> we are gonna finish it romantically with candles with and the eyes and the moon and misty eyes 
Wait in Paris. The wine. I don't like this team. I know. They are motivated right now. We want girls. I want to propose to someone. Now you can propose. The woman will You have misty eyes right now, Carla. Ah, let me see. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah, go ahead, number one. Why the men <laughs> will pay the wedding? Well, before, then, before a man and woman get married, they usually pay for the wedding and reception. That is not possible, no, because space is for the third person. Ah, the, yes, it's true. plural. So that's not the option. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Ah, before a man and woman get married, they usually give the woman a diamond ring. Um, but it's in third person too. They each other. They each other. Begin, what about begin to the plan within. Uh, they each other for about a year. For about a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So before they get married, they date. Okay. Um, mm -hmm, maybe this is the one. All right, Carla. Mm -hmm. Number two. When, when a couple gets engaged, the men often letter N. Face the wedding of the good. Um, Um, a couple gets a man of them pays the, the for the wedding and reception. Give the woman a, a diamond. Give the woman a diamond ring. Give him. Um, well, some of them give you a diamond ring, right? <laughs> Not always a diamond, I guess. Expensive. In the conjugation. I prefer a car, maybe, or... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, okay, Paul. Three. Right after a couple gets engaged. Engaged? The usual. Engaged, uh, the usually. Uh, begin to plan the, the wedding. Ah, okay, that makes sense. So, yes. And you don't pronounce this E, engaged, like that, engaged. Engaged. Yes, for Roberto. When a woman gets married, her family usually... Give the bride and groom a gift for... Or some money. Pays for the wedding and reception. Pay, you think? Or give the bride and groom, I guess. I don't know who's when he, okay. We're gonna say pays for the wedding. I'm not sure. All right, five. Fatima. When people are invited to a wedding, they almost always oh, okay. Uh, give the bride and groom a gift or some money. Yeah, so probably the previous one was right. Okay, Carla Tang. Right. After a couple gets married, they usually go on a short trip, call it a honeymoon. Cold? Cold. A honeymoon. Okay. It's like a cold. Yes, like when you're cold. Uh huh. Cold. Cold. Honey. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. And <laughs> after so many classes, we are wedding experts. So we got it right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last topic that has something to do with this. All right. We We're are now an expert in in weddings. <laughs> advice. All right. Do you have any questions? No. So let's see. No. Everybody, is everybody here on the platform? Look. 
This is section uh, 3.13. Is everybody here? Or you still have yes. to catch up? Yes. You are up to date. Up to date. All up right. To date. Up to date. Up to date. No. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me, guys. I hope you have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good weekend too. Bye. Yeah.